Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of parabola. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if a line y equals to 4 plus kx, where k is greater than 0, if that line is tangent to a parabola and the equation of parabola is given to us is y is equal to x minus x squared at the point p so it is tangent to this same parabola given to us at the point p and v is the vertex of the parabola so then we have been told what is the slope of the line through p and v for this parabola and if i talk about the answer choices that are given to us it is 3 over 2 26 over 9 5 over 2 and the last option given to us is 23 over 6 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us so let's start with the question and understand how do we solve this so first of all i have been told here that this line y equals to kx plus 4 it's a tangent to this equation of the parabola so if it is the tangent to the equation y equals kx plus 4 and the other equation of parabola was y equals to x minus x square so basically if this line is a tangent to the parabola let's say your parabola looks something like this and it is a tangent so if this line is a tangent to this parabola both of them intersect at one single point so if i have this intersection coordinates to be found out i can equate both the y's on the left so if I know that left hand sides are equal, I can equate the right hand sides also to find this point of intersection of the parabola and the line. So to find that, I know kx plus 4 would become equal to x minus x square. And if I do that equal, I take it on the left hand side, I get x square minus x plus kx plus 4 is equal to 0. So from here, I get x square plus x if I take out common I get k minus 1, x plus 4 equals to 0. So you have this quadratic form now. Now we know that the line and the parabola are intersecting in only one single point. So when they are intersecting in only one single point, we know for this quadratic which is formed, you will have only one root. So you get only one root with the idea when the discriminant is equal to 0. So let's find the discriminant of this quadratic as well. So discriminant is we know b square minus 4ac. And if I equate it with 0, I know b in this case is k minus 1 whole square minus 4. a in this case is 1 and c is 4. So you get this equal. So you get k square minus 2k plus 1. This becomes minus 16 is equal to 0. So if I solve this further, I get k square minus 2k minus 15 is equal to 0. That gives me k square minus 5k plus 3k minus 15 equals 0. If I take out common from these terms, I get k, k minus 5 plus 3, k minus 5 equals 0. If I further solve it, I get k minus 5, k plus 3 is equal to 0. And that if I equate it with 0, I get k is 5 or I get k is minus 3. But if you see the question, the question tells us that k is positive. So when the value of k is positive, I cannot have k as minus 3. And from there, I get a confirmed answer that k is equal to 5. Now, when I have k equals to 5, I also need to find the intersection point of these coordinates of the parabola and line so that is nothing but your point p because at that point p your line touches the parabola so if i want to find the x and y coordinate of this point p i need to find x and y from this so now i have my quadratic equation already known so if i solve it i had x square plus k minus 1 so 5 minus 1 x plus 4 equals 0 
So now if I solve it, I get x square plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And that gives me, it is nothing but expansion of x plus 2 the whole square. So you get x is minus 2 after solving it. And you are having only one single root because minus 2 repeats two times. So you have an equal root and you get x coordinate of point P that is minus 2. Now once I get x as minus 2, I can put it in any one of the equations to get the y coordinate as well. So I have y equals to kx plus 4. And I know x is minus 2. I also know k is 5. So that gives you minus 2 into 5 which is minus 10 plus 4. And that gives you y as minus 6. So you get the y coordinate also of this point of intersection of line and parabola. And that is minus 6. So you have v that is the point at which your line touches the parabola. Now let's also find the vertex of the parabola. So we have been given y is equal to x minus x squared. So if I write it in the general form, you can write that as minus x squared plus x plus 0. So a in this case is minus 1, b is 1 and c is 0. So how I'm getting a, b and c is basically I'm comparing this equation with our general form that is a x square plus b x plus c. So I got a, b, c. Now once I got a, b, c, I know the x coordinate of the vertex. So I have my vertex coordinates as h comma k and my x coordinate that is h, it's given by minus b over 2a. So when it is given with that, minus b means minus 1 over 2 into a which is minus 1. So you get 1 over 2 as your x coordinate of the vertex. To find k, I can just put in my equation of the parabola. Instead of y being f of x, I can put that as f of h. And that is f of half. So I'm putting the value of x as half and that gives me half minus half square. So half minus 1 fourth. And if I solve it, I get 1 fourth left out. So half minus one fourth I get that as one one by two oh, sorry one by four. Now once I have that one by four here with me I have my vertex coordinates that is h comma k and that was half comma one over four. Now you have v you also have p known minus two minus six. You have been asked to find the slope of the line which passes through these two points P and V. So we know slope of any line passing through two points is given by change in Y over change in X. So change in Y, it is 1 over 4 plus 6 because minus of minus and 1 over 2 minus of minus 2, so again plus 2. So you get 1 plus 24 over 4 and 1 plus 4 over 2. So it becomes 25 over 4 and it becomes 5 over 2. So if I try to cancel it, 5 once, 5 5 times, 2 once, 2 2 times. So you get the answer as 5 over 2. So slope of the line which passes through the two points P and B, it is nothing but 5 over 2. And that matches with which answer choice. Let's see that 5 over 2. It matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of parabola where they have told us that a line is a tangent which touches the parabola. So we first figured out that point at which the line touches the parabola. We found x and y coordinate as minus 2 minus 6. Then we just use the idea of equation of parabola to find the vertex coordinates h comma k. Once I got both the coordinates of p e and v. I just found the slope by using change in y over change in x that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12th as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do like the videos on my channel. Also keep supporting the channel and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis.
Thank you.